In this video I'm going to show you how to assemble this little toy called Miralanka. So the first thing I'm going to do is open a new component. So new, new part. Sometimes I still talk in the same language as um, the old program used to use Inventor. So new, um, new part, not component, and we're going to call it assembly. Assembly F1 or car um, 2020 and one's going to be version 2 because the first time I did this it didn't say properly so um, so we've got it named um, it will not import the components unless it's saved so I'm going to click and drag across and drop my body in first we're going to build everything from the body um, and then work out from there. So we're going to click OK to that and the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to select ground. So I right clicked and select ground and um, that locks that component in so we can put, put or attach everything else to that. Let's have a quick look at our um, top view. So that's looking really good. Um, we I'm going to just check this one so my camera is at the moment set to perspective I'm going to change it back to orthographic it won't really matter too much um, but it just is an easier type of view to do this assembly in. now when I'm looking directly at this top I want to right click and go set current view as top that just changes the orientation here it doesn't really matter for now but um, another good practice that I like to follow so I'm going to firstly attach my uh, rear wing fence. I'm going to leave the wheels to last because we're going to do that in a slightly different way. Once you've got one in, don't worry too much about this move or copy. Just drag it out a little bit, uh, but it doesn't really do anything. It still moves around freely. This one's locked because we put this pin in here. So everything that we're going to do for this assembly is um, attach the parts with join. Once this comes up, always click capture position. And then um, we're going to select where we want to join this. I suggest to zoom right in where you can. Um, we're going to try and click this face but in the corner. So the little kind of symbol needs to be facing towards us. We don't want to up this path here. We don't want it along this one here or along that one, we want it on this space facing towards us and then we're going to rotate and then we're going to select the corresponding one here so this face, but down on the corner it should pull it together uh, but once it pulls it together you can click OK let's do the second real in fence so this one's right next to the other one let's pull it across to the side click OK and we are going to go join bottom corner facing out back corner facing out and click OK so we've got our real and fences in let's do the side pods next some of these components it doesn't make sense why they go kind of this way not out the other if you think it looks better a different way I'm happy for you to do that um, I'm just building it the way we did it um, when we used to make this a woodwork project. So for the rear wing, sorry, these ones are the side pods, I'd suggest um, spinning them around and it doesn't have to be perfect. I won't get this one perfect, I'll just kind of deliberately make it a bit kind of wonky like that. But I can see I want this front part as like an air intake to be attached to this side. We're going to use the join feature. Um, I'm going to spin this one around so it's upside down. I'm going to go from the bottom flat center of that one to the bottom flat center of my body. Now that's not the right angle that I want. So there's a couple of things we can do here. Firstly, let's try the flip button. So that's flipped it to the right angle and then um, I believe that needs to be 45 degrees or back to zero actually. Um, and you can see that's brought those surfaces, surfaces together nicely. I'm going to click this one here because I want to bring it forward a little bit and I'm going to 
right click it so I can edit joint there or I can right click and edit joint there and I can bring this one forward I think about 25 mil looks good so let's put the other one on if you didn't see the last demo have a watch of this one so this can be pretty random I'm just going to drag it out like that drag it around Maybe a little bit further and then this one here around this way let's look at it from underneath we'll click OK and then join zoom in this one's going to be the center of that surface center of that surface if it rotates around like that we want to flip it back onto the other surface so we use the flip feature here and we're going to pull that forward to the 25 you can't get 25 you can zoom in a little bit it gives you more accuracy let's have a look at our design so that's coming together quite nicely let's do the uh, rear wing on on the top here so we'll drag it into our design takes a while um, it's right underneath there so let's pull it up not even, even going to spin this one around I'm going to just try and do it this way so join we're going to do the top outside to that to the top outside of that so it's sitting flat at the moment but what I'll do is pull it down a little bit and rotate that around so it kind of looks like it's a spoiler so that's my um, rear wing fitted. If you want to edit that, once again, right click and edit joint, and you can change the angle. Next one we'll do is the engine cowling. So let's drag that across. This one I'd suggest going to this surface here with this one here. Now that didn't work at all, um, so I'm going to cancel that. Let's try this again. So join. Let's try it with this axis kind of on the edge to this one here. So that worked better for me. And let's have a look from the top just to make sure it's even on both sides so because we selected the center of each one of these it's sitting nice and central if i wanted to edit that edit joint and you could move it forward a little bit if you want to it's up to you okay so last one is my front wing i'm going to join that this one i'd suggest doing um, the piece up underneath here now if you haven't cut that already you can attach it straight to the front or you could overlap it so by overlapping it what I mean is you can just join this surface to your front so find two parts where you can join and then overlap it um, because I know some we probably didn't include that in your instructions so find two parts and then when I say overlap it you can look at it from the side and you can bring this up through your design a little bit so it sits level with the bottom so that's all my parts that for that done the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a sub assembly for the wheels. So we're going to save this, make sure you save regularly in uh, Fusion. And we're going to go to a new design and we're going to call this one, so we're going to save it and call it Wheel. Wheel assembly. In the wheel assembly, we're going to put an axle in. Try that again. We're going to ground 
that axle and then we're going to put a wheel in and we'll pull that wheel away from the axle to start with now when we do the join we can select um, the end of the wheel just the end of where the axle should sit to the end of that one and it will bring together bring it together the flip feature here you can see what it does so we definitely want it that way let's rotate our wheel and axle and we'll put our second wheel in so this one here let's just drag it way out yeah, this way so it's got lots of clearance I'm going to go join let's do our wheel first and then we'll do our axle on the other side now if it flips it over we know what to do use the flip tool and click OK let's save that and let's go back to our other assembly file before I do that, um, let's go to the wheel assembly just one more time. Where it says joins here, use the eyeball and turn that off. It just hides the hides these join features on our model, which is going to look neater later. So let's save that one more time. And I can close that now. So where our join feature is here, we'll eventually turn them off as well, but let's leave it on while we're putting it together. So the wheel assembly, I've got lots here because I've done it multiple times, but you guys should only need to have one because we're going to recycle this same one um, a couple of times. So here's the first one in, I'm going to click OK, and that should move around freely. Let's go to uh, assemble again, capture position, down here, um, we go to the center, and this one, there's two here, so there's this one, and there's that one. This is the one that we want. Now, don't be worried that your wheels don't come with this. I'm going to square up my view so I can see that it's even on both sides. I think it's about 15 that we need there. And our wheels kind of come over. You might want to do the maths and make sure it's absolutely perfectly centered. I'm going to do it one more time so wheel assembly gets dragged in. Click OK to that one and just drag it out of the way. Capture position again. Center there to that one. And this is not going to be 15 this time, but I'm going to look at it from the top. And just make sure that that's sitting as central as it possibly can. That looks pretty good. So um, take your time getting it sitting correctly. So that is assembling the car. Hopefully you've got some other little components like I have for the head or some adjustments to the bits and pieces that you've got. Um, once you've done that, remember to turn off the joint so it looks cool. If you can still see them in this um, other assembly, save this one make sure it's saved there and open up your wheel assembly you can either do it by clicking there or you can right click on this one sorry up here and you should be able to edit it so maybe edit in place and you should be able to turn off the join here and then we're going to go back and select our car again by okaying it up there so that's uh, all um, one cool thing you can do is turn on the perspective on the camera angle and it kind of looks a little bit more car like so um, next video is going to be about rendering, rendering and adding a background